Hello, and welcome to our field trip. There's no trip, there's no field. Shall we do the show and tell first? Let's do that one first. Okay, and I haven't got any celebratory foods except for this slightly old looking banana. But Heather's got a bunny, a real bunny. A real bunny, yeah. Wow. Yeah, his name Aww. is Mr. Misu, like Tiramisu because of his colors. Very nice, yes, very appropriate. I feel like I always get caught up in like the detail of following how a photograph looks instead of just painting freely and like realizing that there isn't restrictions with the painting. Do you see like the window? It's just like, it's not that exciting. So this is what it looks like so far. Amazing, looks so good. That's so good. OMG, that's amazing. It's so nice. I love that color. Looks amazing. Everybody's very keen. My, um like goal for the creative project was to make doodles that kind of resemble like months at a time or experiences in my life. So this is an example of one that I made in the summer. I made this in a Zoom call. So mm -hmm. it's kind of just like my thoughts at the time. I like the thought of addressing darker themes with childish imagery because I think that it kind of shows like our inner child and like how we all have that within us. Wow. I think everybody's very impressed with this stuff. That's amazing. Some people liked the simple logo, but then others said to try to play with color um, and texture. So that's when I created um, the gold and silver logos and the one with the pink. So this is just acoustic in my voice and some effects in my voice, but not too crazy. I think one of our classes inspired me to step out of the comfort zone and do more minimalism with the music. So this is what minimalistic one's track sounds like. So it's kind of like a... Oh, yeah, this is it. Rianne said, I love the simplicity of the song. I can imagine it as background music in a pivotal point of a movie. So like, these are all just raw, like raw. Oh, now what the video would look like, we would obviously edit it. We went outside for this one. If I can get really good at making things good when they are simple, I could do so much more when they are complex. Like I can do a lot of different changes. I can add different instruments and there's more room. There's more layers to actually uh, take the, the audience through a different type of journey. But I made pottery a while back, and so I'll show that. I wanted to make a mug with a really long handle. Um, this plate's cool. It has all sorts of texture going around the outside, and it's very heavy. Like, I don't know. Something about a heavy plate makes it more delicious to eat off of. And he's like, it's ugly, throw it out. And it's the bowl I use the most because I put different sauces in it for dipping. Heather says, topple the short handle patriarchy, quite right. I just like to throw lots of things in. So after a while, I'm like, let's just make it interesting instead, because interesting is better than boring, for obvious reasons. What it's going to be, we're to do it anyway. And I thought it'd be nice to do that is so I could then read out what Edie said. So Edie is my daughter, she's nine. What Edie said was, it should have more people singing on it. Uh, she said, I sound creepy. Overall, three out of 10. <laughs> three out of 10 is like the worst score you could have. Even like one out of 10 has got more passion to it because it's like they really hate it. Anusha says, for my creative project, I created a collection of vectorized illustrations. I'm very satisfied with them. Originally, I was focusing on creating just one, but this class allowed me to set aside a good amount of time and I was able to create a bunch. I got my inspiration from actual photographs of some of my family members and from Pinterest. Top one's pretty. I like hair clips. So this is like the only 
complete book that I've made and the binding is not very good because I was like, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing and I didn't. So I was up last night practicing and I ended up making a 56 page book. The government doesn't want you to know this, but you can actually make books out of like stuff that you have laying around the house or things that you could very easily acquire at like Dollarama. Personally, I, I capture and milk the individual bees. Um, I had a now ex who cheated on me, so I wrote a song about it. Gave you all my love and you took me for granted. It's not that I still care or love or want you back again. Guess I'm not okay, but better like this. going under the name NoFi, which is a play on like, you know, like lo-fi music, but mine is, my name is NoFi because it's lower quality than lo-fi. It's, there's no quality to it. And I thought that was funny. I kind of did a whole reveal of me just like packing all this stuff and then putting like, like dumping it in garbage bags and then just putting in the value village thing. I'm a tourist for whoever's asking. The yellow here is all my sound effects. Cause I added, I like kind of look for all of these royalty free slash like very old. So they probably won't come for me movie clips and film dialogue. And I kind of cut it up to control the narrative I was trying to do. Uh, thanks for all the nice comments. We better say goodbye. Thank you for coming. Uh, thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank this was fun. Bye. Yeah.